Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian for Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation. Today's video, we're going to be going over uh, all of the new stuff that came out for this week. Basically, all of the new, like, VIP stuff, as well as some, like, things like Union Cross. You know, the usual spiel that comes out on Monday mornings and whatnot. Um, but before we get started on anything, I want to point out a few things. First of all, I want to congratulate all of the players who managed to get top 100 in each of your respective unions because of the fact of how competitive this last week was, uh, specifically because of how much hype there is for the union armor. Uh, I can like honestly, there there was so much competition going on this last week. So I so for all of you that managed to get top 100 for your respective union, and whatnot, congratulations. Okay, like. I, <laughs> I I am just as happy as you probably guys are uh, for the fact you're able to finally get it, okay? And you're and you're able to go off and like Union Cross and whatnot, and like and go and flex your stuff now <laughs> with the Union armor. For those of you that are curious, uh, I my my party managed to get ninth place in Volpes or Volps as I like to call it, even though I know that's not the correct pronunciation. I am so proud of my party, so if any of my party members happen to be watching this channel, just know, and I've already said this to you in our, our in our party chat, but just again, just to say it again, just to let you guys know, um, I am very proud of you guys. I'm, I'm very happy we were all so hype and willing to work together so, so effort, effortlessly. As my first month of leader in the party, I, I, can, I couldn't have been happier. Before we go into the announcements, for uh, this week and whatnot, there's a few reminders I want to give you guys. The first one being that today is Monday, so make sure you log in today to get your copy of the uh, Toon Moogle medal that we only get on Mondays, okay? And it only lasts for three weeks total. This is the second week. If you don't get it today, next week, Monday, is your last chance to get a copy of the Toon Moogle medal. And remember, each copy of the Toon Moogle medal that you get applies towards your application for the Make Your Mark event that's going on for Kingdom Hearts 3 to try and get your name in in the game as well as the other reminder I want to give is in the shop actually and that is basically covering uh, the banners that we have going on okay so as of right now a lot of the banners are actually ending by today like tonight okay at, at reset um, and that's gonna be the Vexen plus banners ending the key art 16 banner is ending so a Sephiroth EX plus uh, and then just those three all right so I want to give some quick uh, like thoughts about them because I, I already got some like questions about like whether or not you should still pull from these things and blah blah blah. Just as a reminder, in case, especially if you haven't watched my last video about uh, doing my metal analysis video for Vexen Plus, um, I just want to give a quick recap as to like which banners you should pull or not pull from and blah, blah all that good stuff. Okay, so essentially, the main thing that you guys should focus on is the Vexen Plus banner. I, out of all the banners, even the Key Art 16 EX Plus banner, which is fantastically good, okay, I still recommend going for the Vexen Plus banner for a couple reasons, okay. Uh, the first one being that's falling price, so you get more out of it. You pr you're more likely to get a copy of Vexen Plus than you are to from um, the other banners who are not falling price. Vexen Plus is literally the only falling in price deal. Uh, the second thing is that I'm pretty confident that Vexen Plus is going to be one of those medals for the future uh, that's going to be a staple for turtle strategies. Even if you already have a decent turtle setup, like I do before Vexen Plus, where I had an extra attack uh, HPO, uh, extra attack Chicken Little, um, and then I have like HD Zexion and whatnot, like I, I pretty much had like the whole turtle strategy just covered. Vexen Plus makes all of that so much easier. You're basically saving up one or two extra slots for one medal. So that way you can use up those extra slots for now damage medals instead. Or or you can just make it easier to do all the effects too with just Vexen Plus and copy them like two or three times as well. Uh, it's for new players, Vexen Plus banner is the one you want to go for. So if you're if you have some story mode missions that you have left to grind, um, try and get that five full mercy today if you can. If you're a free-to-play player and you don't really have that many t good turtle medals because of the fact that, well, most of them uh, were covered behind paywalls and whatnot or like high score challenges and whatnot, go for Vexen. He's going to help you out a lot. Uh, same thing with just anybody else who just happened doesn't have turtle medals and whatnot. Good turtle medals. Um, and just a quick recap, the good turtle medals, the standard meat and potatoes turtle medals are going to be HT Zexian, Chicken Little, and HPO. HPO was from an event like many months ago. I have no idea if we'll ever see that again. 
And if you're a new player or whatnot, or you didn't get it beforehand, uh, you, that's just out the window. Chicken Little was a VIP deal, so if you didn't get that, uh, that's out the window. So literally, HD Zexion is your only turtle medal for a majority of people. So, and, and because of that, you definitely need to get Vexen Plus, okay? Uh, he's literally like a combination of all three of those medals I just listed. So I highly recommend getting Vexen Plus out of all of them, if possible simply because of the fact that he's only going to appear once a year okay as far as i'm aware he's only going to appear once a year kira 16 might very may very easily come back again in a different type of banner we like i'm pretty sure all the other medals that are in the kira 16 banner as well are going to come back or be within normal uh pool like like banner pools and whatnot too so because of how exclusive Vexen Plus is, go for Vexen Plus if you're able to, okay? There's nothing special that came out for last night's uh, notice to make me say, oh, don't go for go like don't go for Vexen Plus. Go for Vexen Plus if you can, okay? Even if some other stuff come out for this anniversary or avatar boards or whatnot, uh, because of how exclusive Vexen Plus is, I highly recommend that. All right, so aside from that, uh, let me get into the actual notices that we had for last night. For today, they're bringing back the uh, draw three times from the top drawer deal. Okay, I like no, don't don't waste your jewels on this. I only do this at once, like maybe once a week at most, because it's it's just a trap. Unless unless you're like a new player who needs the jewels, or you're or you're trying to chase for like Shion and Kyrie X and whatnot, then it might be worth it. I honestly at this point, all I really want at this point is just more skills decent skills too like max skills that i can actually use or even lux plus skills um that's the main things that i would be worth like be looking to save my jewels for anything else i honestly could not care less about because of the fact that how much they just dished out so many medals at us all at once they gave us like nine new medals and we only got two decent skills like we're we're literally not being given enough skills to keep up with the number of medals we're getting and it's it's kind of ridiculous but in terms of Union Cross, uh, Union Cross did reset this week. So, and they're including two things in this week's Union Cross, which is, uh, and notice I said this week. So it's like, I, I think they're doing Union Cross as a weekly thing now, which is pretty cool. I like, I, I appreciate that a lot because uh, now it makes it a little bit more interesting and fun now, more or less, to actually worth doing union cross it gives us something to do basically even if it's only like one or two days a week it gives us something to do uh, but in this week's union cross we are getting upright boosters again up to 30 percent worth um, as well as we're getting a new mustache accessory for our pet so if you're interested in that go nuts <laughs> Uh, but the, the yeah the biggest thing for me is the upright uh, boosters because like right now uh, depending on your setup upright is like one of the best meta uh setups again like i'll probably cover that some sometime soon but as you probably saw in the shop too we are getting the kingdom hearts 2 cloud ex plus metal back again the banner back um it is a five pearl mercy again as well uh it's not falling price so keep that in mind it does cost 1500 jewels 15,000 jewels my bad um but realistically uh most like this isn't really a, I mean, the metal is good, don't get me wrong, but there's not a lot of Keyblades, competitive Keyblades, I should probably state, that can use them effectively. So there's no real reason to chase for this metal unless you like heavily use Fenrir or Olympia on a regular basis, okay? If it's not one of those two Keyblades, you realistically don't really need uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Cloud EX Plus. So yeah, that's my thoughts about that. Uh... For this week's VIP, we're getting we're getting pretty much the same stuff that we got last week, which is we're getting some more accessories and whatnot with 1,400 jewels, which is nice. Uh, the ribbons that come with accessories are give us an item drop perk plus six. We're getting the Master Xehanor EX plus medal again, um, whose article I'm about to have come out fairly soon, by the way, too. Uh, in case you guys haven't realized, I have my Vexen Plus and KeyArt16 already up my, on my website, their metal analysis article, if you guys haven't seen that already by chance, okay? Uh, I'm gonna try and have the... I already have the Vexen Plus video metal analysis uh, out already, but I'm gonna try and get the 16 video out as well. Uh, but at the very least, if you can't wait for that, uh, you can go to my website. Link is in the description below. 
Uh, and I have my own metal analysis article there for you to take a look at. <clears throat> but we're also getting the magic broom medals again uh, with the gems, magic mirrors, pretty much normal stuff, to be honest. Uh, we're getting some previous avatar boards as well. Spring Donald, Spring Daisy, Terrence, and Tinkerbell. That's what it's called. Uh, but on, like, so when I took a look at these avatar boards, there's honestly only like one or two things in each of them that are actually worth it. Otherwise, I honestly could care less about these avatar boards. When it comes to the Spring Donald and Spring Daisy avatar boards, the only thing, in my opinion, that's actually worth getting in here is the skill perk plus six that they have for each of them um, in case you're lacking some skill perks uh, of like that big. Skill perk plus six is pretty nice um, and it's pretty much the max that you can get except for uh, the recent the Union Armor. The Union Armor mask gives you plus nine skill perk but I believe that's like one of the only accessories that actually gives a skill perk of plus nine. Otherwise the normal uh, max skill perk you can get in the game is or is six and there's not too many sixes to go around so if you need a good skill perk this might be an avatar board for you but otherwise it's not worth it um terrence and tinkerbell avatar boards are kind of along the same lines they give a raid boss omega perk of plus five but realistically that's not that's not really that's not really important because we don't really uh because of how easy it is to summon raid bosses during competitive week now and whatnot like it, 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 it just, I just don't see the appeal of it. So I honestly don't really see a need to get Terrence and Tinkerbell at all. Um, even though they have like gems in them, I wouldn't get it for the gems. Like I wouldn't spend 1500 jewels for gems. Uh, for one gem I should add to. If they, like uh, the Terrence and Tinkerbell avatar boards don't have any max skills. So that's not worth it. Uh, the Spring Donald and Spring Daisy avatar boards do have a attack boost 3 max skill in them. Uh, but attack boost 3 max is not really that great anymore as it used to be in the past it's very it's kind of meh it's like it's like the bottom of the totem pole now like attack boost one and two max or not max is kind of like trash at this point three is like the very like the bare minimum we're willing to accept you want at least four and up at this point now so i think there's one more thing left yes okay so we got a new event today uh, which is the daily time attack event. There's going to be a new uh, time attack mission every single day. So make sure you hit these every single day because they're going to reset. Um, and Glacy did mention in the live stream that they had on Friday that there's going to be a new event next week, Monday as well. As to what it is, I don't know. Uh, she said there was going to be one today, which ended up being the time daily time attack event. I'm personally a little disappointed because of the fact that when she said there's going to be a new event, I was expecting something, you know, fun and worth doing. Not that I say, not that I'm saying daily time attacks aren't fun because I know some people enjoy them or not. I personally just don't enjoy them because like I find them more of a hassle and annoying to do uh, than anything else. But yeah, that's, that's a different topic whatsoever. Uh, I don't know. I was expecting a little bit something more, something a li little bit more worth, uh, I don't know, hype, I guess. Uh, the anniversary in general has just been kind of lackluster for me. But other than that, that's it for today, guys. Like, the, that wasn't... I was just pretty much going over all of the new stuff that came out today as well, giving you guys some quick reminders and tips on to, like, the banners and whatnot you want to take a look at when uh, making your decisions, your last-minute decisions for today. But other than that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button next to the subscribe button. Uh, it lets you know when I upload new videos such as this one. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kinemartini Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.